Dumele Chomi, welcome back to Gossip Cafe. Welcome to Music Fridays. My name is Kay. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning Sabi, thank you so much for gracing us with your presence. If you, did, if you didn't know anything about Music Fridays, I will be dropping videos each and every Fridays at 5 p.m. whereby we will be talking about music. Anything that has to do with music, any music, anywhere in the world, we will be talking about that at 5 p.m. specifically for music. So I've got a couple of topics actually few of topics that I would like to discuss on this video and the most exciting one is the Metro FM, FM Music Awards so we need to discuss all of those things and um, yeah so let's get into this video So the first thing that I would like to talk about on this video before we get into the nominations and the categories of the Metro FM Music Awards, we need to talk about people that were supposed to drop music today, which is on Friday for everybody. So I have got a problem with South African music artists or the music, music scene, South African music scene, when they say they're dropping an album on the 31st of a certain month or on this certain month that album is not dropped they don't drop it immediately when it hits midnight the th for example midnight the 30th to um, leading to the 31st and they don't drop that that single I'm used to old age stuff whereby when people say they're dropping music immediately midnight you can go and purchase your album or you can go and purchase the CD or LP or cassette I grew up in those days whereby you have to go and queue up and buy the music that's that's how I grew up actually you know you know what Tommy can you hold it right there because I need my water okay I'm back I've got my water I've got my water over here so Tommy what I'm saying is if an artist is gonna tell us that they're dropping music on a certain day or a certain date they should do so because I get fed up with artists that don't keep their own promises especially whereby you are disrespecting your own followers you are disrespecting your own people that are buying your music so if you're gonna lie to us and tell us something else and you're not coming back and say oh, you know what guys there's a glitch we cannot drop the music so this message goes to these people. There's two artists that I was waiting for something to happen today. These are South African artists that I'm talking about right now. The first one is Berita. We know Berita and his and her ex husband who's troubled or not and stuff like that. All the drama. You know what? What is going on right now? I feel like Berita is not ready to drop music. She was supposed to drop music today on the 31st of March. Apparently, she was supposed to drop a single. Nah, I checked and I checked and I checked. Do lo lo single. There is no single. What happened to the single, Berita? Are you lying to us? Are you playing with our feelings? Do you want us to say we don't want your music anymore? That's the reason why people forget about good artists because good artists lie and lie and lie or they don't come back and tell us what is the story because we're not gonna wait another 10 years for you to drop music. You haven't dropped anything in a very long time. So now you're saying you're dropping on the 31st of March. You don't do it. Moving right along, I'm, t I'm done with you, Berita. Like, I'm done with you. I'm done with your drama. Your life is full of drama. And I hope one day you will sort it out. The second person that I need to call out here is Uncle Waffles. For the groovist, we know Uncle Waffles is doing very well for herself. She's very young. She's very vibey. I love her vibe. Her vibe is just contagious. When you see her dancing there, even if she's playing creepy music sometimes, you just want to dance because she's giving you the energy to just be the groovist and have fun and all of those things. That's how Uncle Waffle is. And I feel like that's how she's going to flourish when it comes to the music scene. She was supposed to drop a single today or she was supposed to drop a project. That's what they said. They're dropping a project on the 31st of March. 2023 let me let me clarify this is 2023 not 2024 2025 2023 i check i check i check dalolo there is nothing uncle waffle did not did, did not drop any music 
did not drop any music you know what for her i would forgive her because obviously she's young and all of those things and on top of it her 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 fan base is crazy like Nama 2000 and stuff like that because she is in 2009 you know so they will still go crazy for her after 10 years after she didn't drop music for for 100 years or something like that they will still go crazy for her for on, on my side for me let's move on so guys i would like to talk about the nomination and the categories of a, a what you call Metro FM Music Awards. You know what? Metro FM Music Awards were dramatic, but were vibey at some point. Like they are more vibey than the summers. You know, the summers are, are for grannies and stuff like that. They are just boring and shady, and you don't know people are nominated, and you you just don't really know how to how did they win. I know with Metro FM Metro FM Music Awards as well. Sometimes there are some things that we don't understand and all of those things and I hope they will be transparent with us this year So the nominees are out and um, The big show or the fan of the show will be in May sometime. I just forgot the name the, the, the date I think it's on the 7th of May if I'm not mistaken guys, please don't quote, quote me on that I think it is on on in May. <laughs> Let's just say in May so the first thing, the first category that I would like to talk about actually, it is one of the biggest categories that they have. So I have to entertain that category because it is one of the categories that I love and I, I, I look forward to actually watch and see who takes this category. The first category that it is important, I'm just going to talk about categories that matters to me. I'm not going to talk about the rest of the categories, otherwise this video will be too long and there are things that are just not for me. And um, yeah, so the first category that I will be focusing on is, is Song of the Year. We all know that we love Song of the Year, we love a jam, we love to, la to, 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 to dance. Sorry, we love to dance and we love to sing along and all of those things when it comes to song of the year And it has to be someone who deserves that song of the year. So the nominees are K.O. Sede, aka Lemons, Lemonade, Konke and Musa Keys, Kanane, Amos, Fatela, Big Nas, Ngeke, Kabza, The Small, Kuzela, Betusilem Tringa, Ngena Noah, Gaba, Canal, Hiland is Yoyam, Java Isoka, Wanitamos, Sofa, 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 sorry. So, um, do, am I happy with the nominees? Am I happy with the nominees? <sighs> Why is Betusila on these nominees with that Ngena Noah song? I mean, like a repetition of church song, like Ngena Noah? I don't know. Like, I, I have no idea. And I think song of the year you you get voted for in order for you to take it, or it is a a, a, a vote from the 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 actual awards or something like that. I don't know. I don't know how they do it, but I don't know why Betusile is there. And also, I don't know why <sighs> this this these nominees guys Asan Wanito Amosiena so for slash line that song Asan I I can't. You know what? I'm happy that KO is here. I'm happy that AKA got nominated as well. I think KO partially deserves to win this one. I don't know why Big Nas is there because that song, Gege, whatever the song is, that song is crap. They just made sure that that song is a song of the or the song that 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 um that takes us to a new year like transitioning from 2022 to 2023 otherwise that song is crap for me for me it is crap i don't know about you guys please comment down below if you like that song because nah asana i don't know who listens to that song another category that we need to talk about is best afro pop you know afro pop i love it because it celebrates our um, ourselves as black people, especially in a con in, in in our continent, whereby we are influenced by rhythm. As black people, we are influenced by rhythm. We grew up in a rhythmic house, in rhythmic household, rhythmic um, communities, and all of those things. Everything that is the, everything that you do, you sing. Like you sing when you cry. You sing when someone is dead. You sing when you are happy. 
you sing in church you sing like we are a, we are a rhythmic community we are a rhythmic race we believe in music like everything so um the nominees as java isibuko Zuko S A and Libali Brenda Mtamo. Someone who actually got nominated so many times is Brenda Mtamo, and um, she is a vocal beast. But I'm not sure about the nominations. But anyway, we'll see about that. In combination, voice male Lindo, the vocalist Lindo Kuhle. I feel like um, Lindo deserves it, and actually, Java also deserves this one. I'm not sure about Brenda Mdamo because obviously she is a vocal beast. She's got a beautiful voice, very distinctive voice and all of those things. But girl, let's move on. Let's talk about the artist of the year. One of the very important ones is the artist of the year, guys. I love to see artist of the year to be someone who will go on and make it big in the music entertainment. Artist of the Year goes to these nominees. KO with Sete, obviously. Wanito Amos, Sofa Slashane, aka Lemons. Nomfundo Mo, Isibusi, Sauce Java, Isoka. You know what? I would like them to give it to aka because we'll never get such nomination again in, in our lifetime since they have killed aka in a very brutal way and he was very young because i think we would have got another album or more albums afterwards or after this year but unfortunately we're not gonna get any of those albums i would give it to aka this one i love i love uh, not that the um the album or the the, the song was the biggest thing ever but i, <clears throat> I feel like it will be fair to give it to him for the last time, hey? What do you think, guys? What do you think? So, um, let's go on to the next one. And um, this video is long now. So, another one is a best collaboration song. Best collaboration song, those songs that we want to be Brandy and Monica. You know those songs? You know those songs whereby you know your part and the other one knows their part and you're just excited because your part is about to drop. Yes. <laughs> those ones. Those, those, those type of, of collaborations. So the nomination goes, nominations are AKA featuring Nasty C, Lemons, KO featuring Young Stana, and um, Blakey, Set, um, Kusasa, Agento Agent Dust, and Zex Bantwini, Asanda, Amos featuring Ami Faku, Fatela, Java featuring Q, Queens and Zukulu Isoka. You know what? For this one, for this collaboration, the one of the best collaboration that I have at this point of time, I think it is Charles Java and the Q Twins. I feel like that one they should be given it. They should be given to it. It should be given to them. Yeah, when I uh, English, it's Friday, and I'm not willing to be on some overtime. To try to pronounce some of the things as the English. So <clears throat> for me, Stava, can I get Stava and the Cube Twins on this one? Because that collaboration was so unexpected and I feel like it was one of the best collaborations. So let's move along to, I think this will be my last one, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's not my last one. Um, okay, the other one is Best Artist. Oh, best female artist. Best female artist goes to these nominees: Nomfundo Mo, Makati, Simi, Brenda Mta, Moshe. Nomfundo, Nomfundo deserves to get this one. <sighs> Makati might get this one because obviously she was um, popular. Even though that African Queen 2.0 was not slapping that much, I liked it, but it was not that much. But Nomfundo deserves to get this one. Best gospel album goes to Do Me, I'm um, Sorry to Gospel Choir, Kayam Tetwa, 
King D music, Pastor Lungi Ndala. You know what? So way to gospel choir or Dumim Kokstad would definitely suit this one, would deserve to get this one. But I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. And then let's go to best hip hop artist. You know what? On this one, I don't wanna say anything much. I would give it to AKA Mass Country, but the nominees are AKA KO, Nasty C, Blakey, Maglara, Doi Boy. Who's that one now? I yeah, when I'm at 2000, sad. Who is that one? Because wow. But on this one, I know there's powerful, um, powerful hip hop artists on this one. But I would give it to AKA because we'll never, we'll never get a chance to actually, you know, you know, guys, you know. Um, I know other people deserves to actually get all this stuff, but. You know, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's go to another um, another category, which is styled artist. You know what? When they talk about styled artist, I, I would think that it has to do with fashion and good good looking and all of those things. And um, we've got Mafiki Zolo, we've got Musakis, we've, we've got Java, we've got Dali Wonga, we've got Sinom Solo. <sighs> Why is Java here? Guys, why is Java on styled artist? Why? Like, when's the cantoni? Like, yay! But anyway, let's move on because me, I am for Amafiki Zolo and Musa Keys. But why is Java there? But anyway, let's go to the next one. We've got best music video. Best music video goes to KO. AKA Dira, Wanito Amos, Costa Teach. I would give this one to Costa Teach because I love that Big Flex and music video remix. It was one of the fantastic music videos. Simple, very colorful, but very simple. I loved it. It was fantastic. The last one is the last one that I would like to talk about is best viral videos. These ones are actually videos that are getting viral because they are some challenge on. on, on TikTok or whatever, um, but there is deep and this is the tough. This is the toughest one. There is Deep London featuring Bushi Hambawe, Hamba, and there is DJ Maborisa and Visca Bastrada, Bastrada, Kibada Baha, and there is Fellow Liti and Tos Manker. There is Maestro featuring vocalist Dali Wonga, Shoe Shoe Music Fitier. <laughs> Do Deza, Do Deza, and this AKA uh, KO featuring Young Star, nah, and I don't know why a, um, KO is here. You know what? KO is nominated on each and every category. Almost every category has got KO on it. But a viral video, a viral challenge. What ta what challenge were we doing with City guys? What challenge were we doing? Because this one has to go to Abu Abu Maporisa. And I would toss I would deep land and hammer when I hate that song by the way, but hammer way, hammer ha, hammer way, yeah, hi, hi. Guys, thank you so much for watching till this far. Please do me a favor, give this video a like. Who is your favorite? Who is your favorite artist of the year? Please comment down below. I'll see you on my next upload. Have a fantastic one. Bye.